Hello there. Can you believe it's been a whopping 44 years since the iconic TV series, The Facts of Life 1979, graced our screens? Our childhoods were defined by the thrilling mysteries of the facts of life. Imagine the fun of gathering your family on the sofa to revisit this classic, witnessing the cast then and now, reminiscing about those we've lost, and marveling at the transformations of those who still look fabulous. For all the answers, join us in our video journey. Okay, let's explore together. In 1979, Lisa Welchell graced the screen with her portrayal of the character, Blair Warner, a role she brought to life at the age of 16. Fast forward to the present, and as a vibrant 60-year-old, she's relishing life to the fullest, basking in the beauty of Littlefield, Texas. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't. I have a date. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Trust me. I that did not make it, but I guess I made an impression on him. So when it came, right, when he had this idea, he came asking if I was interested, and it's just. Mackenzie Aston graced the screen as the character Andy Moffat, casting his vibrant presence at the age of 12 during the 1985 filming. Fast forward to the present. And as a vibrant 50-year-old, he's relishing life to the fullest, basking in the beauty of Los Angeles, California. Let's try singing this song at random. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Cool lyrics. Catchy tune. It's a classic. Hey, I love that song. And strength, by limping sway disabled. And art, made tongue-tied by authority. In 1979, Mindy Kahn graced the screen with her portrayal of the character, Natalie Green, a role she brought to life at the age of 13. And now, at a youthful 57 years old, she now resides in Los Angeles, California, where she's crafting a vibrant and helpful life infused with numerous passions. I hate that hat. <laughs> this is my exam hat. Joyous things. Um, but I have to say, because I've wa been watching copious amounts of TCM classic movies yesterday, um, now vo Julianne Haddock graced the screen as the character Cindy Webster, casting her vibrant presence at the age of 14 during the 1979 filming. Fast forward to the present, and as a vibrant 58-year-old, she's relishing life to the fullest, basking in the beauty of Los Angeles, California. I'll give you a tip on uh, how to be feminine. Get rid of that little white mustache. You look like Colonel Sanders. I did too. I also missed my school, my friends. And so when it didn't go beyond, you know, the first season or two. Kim Fields graced the screen as the character Dorothy Tootie Ramsey, casting her vibrant presence at the age of 10 during the 1979 filming. And now, at the age of 54, she resides in New York City, New York, basking in the joy of a fulfilling life surrounded by family and cherished friends. You guys can't have that stuff. It's against the law. And it's against the rules. And why didn't you invite me? <laughs> this isn't your speed. Because she had a family emergency that she had to deal with. Mm. But she was so gracious and still being able to be a part of it. So, uh, so, so that has a nice little bit. In 1979, Charlotte Ray graced the screen with her portrayal of the character, Edna Garrett, a role she brought to life at the age of 53. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on August 5, 2018, she left us due to bone cancer at the age of 92 in Los Angeles, California. Ready? Ein Stupen der Stectos. Oh, I hope this is the Ein Stupen. Oh, I just love Tommy Stick. On a re. I want to say, uh, I want to thank the writers because without the writers, where would we? Nancy McKeon graced the screen as the character Joe Polniacek, casting her vibrant presence at the age of 14 during the 1980 filming. Fast forward to the present, and as a vibrant 57 year old, she's relishing life to the fullest, basking in the beauty of Westbury, New York. I want you to have this. Oh, Eddie, a ring. It's beautiful. Yeah, best one in Kmart. Yeah. I mean, yes. you're just you're just waiting for him to 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 do what he does. And so 
Those were our two binges. Agreed. Oh, those. Felice Schachter graced the screen as the character Nancy Olsen, cast in her vibrant presence at the age of 16 during the 1979 filming. And now, at the age of 60, she resides in Queens, New York, basking in the joy of a fulfilling life surrounded by family and cherished friends. Was I just insulted? Blair, it's too bad we're not doing Cinderella. You could have played both of the Nasty Sisters. <laughs> because I, the expectations weren't met. But thank God, because I went to college and had a full college experience without having the distractions of... In 1979, Julie Piekarski graced the screen with her portrayal of the character, Sue Ann Weaver, a role she brought to life at the age of 60. And now, at a youthful 60 years old, she now resides in St. Louis, Missouri, where she's crafting a vibrant and healthful life infused with numerous passions. You stuck yourself today, dummy. I'm down to my last <laughs> finger. <laughs> oh, you'll get the hang of it, Sue Ann. Well, by that time, I'll need a transfusion. In 1986, Cloris Leachman graced the screen with her portrayal of the character, Beverly Ann Stickle, a role she brought to life at the age of 60. It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of her passing on January 27, 2021, due to complications from a stroke with COVID-19 as a contributing factor at the age of 94 in Encinitas, California. Everybody either got shot, truly, murdered, uh, Barbara Colby was murdered yes. on the third show out on the street with her uh, boyfriend. In 1985, George Clooney graced the screen with his portrayal of the character George Burnett, a role he brought to life at the age of 24. And now, at the age of 62, he resides in Lexington, Kentucky, basking in the joy of a fulfilling life surrounded by family and cherished friends. For Kuwaiti homes. <laughs> you kidding. No, now, hey, they're big over there. You know, a fella needs to relax when he comes home to his wives. <laughs> and I are doing a scene together. Um, there's sort of a pact between us that I'm not going to, uh, I'm not judging you and you're not judging me. We're sort of fending for ourselves. Share your favorite character from the TV series The Facts of Life with me. Drop your thoughts in the comments below this video. And don't forget to show your love by hitting the like button, subscribing to our channel, and ringing the notification bell to catch all my upcoming videos. I'm eagerly looking forward to sharing more wonderful memories with you. Thank you, and see you all soon. See you all soon.